हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज कुणाल गुप्ता एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू पी डब्ल्यू गल्फ चाय पी लो कहीं से स्वाद मिलेगा यहीं से तो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द जे मेंस अटेम्प्ट वन स्ट्रेटजी राइट अ लॉट ऑफ यू वर मैसेजिंग अस राइट एंड आस्किंग सर सिंस अ फ्यू डेज आर लेफ्ट इन द फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट ऑफ जे मेंस दैट इज द जनवरी अटेम्प्ट राइट सो व्हाट शुड बी आवर अप्रोच फॉर दिस जनवरी अटेम्प्ट राइट नाउ अगेन अ स्मॉल डिस्क्लेमर फॉर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो that uh, this video of course it's not that uh, seeing this video you would be getting the uh, 99 percentile or 100 percentile basically this will help you to strategize in the last few days because last few days are usually quite confusing for the students right they're like what approach to follow and they are quite hustle bustle right so this will help you this 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 video will help you to synchronize what to do and what to not do right right what to do and what not to do right so this video is the only to help you to make a routine in our last few days so without any delay let's begin so first thing right what all things would be covered in this particular video uh, let us initially discuss the exam pattern right because i am very much sure a few of you right uh, must not be even aware of the exam pattern so let us discuss the exam pattern and after discussing the exam pattern the tips would be based on that only right a few of you might be knowing it or few of you might have forgot those tips right so again a small recap for all of you right so we are starting with the exam pattern so what exactly was the exam pattern so there were three subjects there would be three subjects what are the three subjects mathematics physics and chemistry right physics chemistry and mathematics right three subjects would be there in the paper right and two sections for each subject would be there section a and section b section a and section b section a would be having 20 questions and section b would be having 10 questions section a would be having 20 questions and section b would be having 10 questions for each of the subject 20 for physics here and 10 for again 20 questions for chemistry here and 10 questions for chemistry here now uh, the section a you have to attempt you have to attempt all 20 to get the maximum marks in the section a for the mcq based right in the section B, you would be getting 10 questions, right? Of which you have to attempt only 5 questions. 5 questions of these 10 questions, right? I hope all of you remember this. Fine. So that makes total number of questions to, to be attempted. It's, it's, you have to attempt only 5. Only 5 from here, right? And 5 from here. And 5 from here, right? So that makes the total number of questions here in this, uh, in this subject. 25 questions in mathematics, 25 questions here in chemistry in physics and 25 questions in chemistry right so total number of questions that you would be getting in the exam would be 75 questions now 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 here is a small uh, small and in fact most important thing that is that's though very small that is the marking scheme for every correct answer you would be getting four marks and for every incorrect answer you your one mark would be deducted Right, suppose the option number, the correct option was A and you marked B. So, minus 1 you would be getting. But, what if, if you leave the question that 0 marks for the unanswered question? You, right, so usually student, they don't uh, uh, care about the 0 marks question. Now, here a small tip to all of you. Attempt those questions only, attempt those questions only in which you are sure that this would be the answer. Right, don't play bluff game there. Right, no need to bluff in the exam. If you would be bluffing, then high chances are there that uh, uh, you will get the negative marking. You would be end up in getting the negative marks for that question. Right? So don't bluff. Right? So that's the difference between the subjective uh, any school or the board or the subjective exam and the competitive exam like J and me. Right? So don't bluff. This is a very important strategy. If you know it, then attempt it and you surely will be getting the uh, plus 4 marks for it. If you don't know it, then don't do it. Right? Don't bluff take 0 marks for that question that would be fine so attempt only if you know it 
right? So this, this is the marking scheme. I hope all of you exam pattern. I hope all of you must be knowing this computer based test it would be. Now comes important uh, start important thing that what to do sir. Uh, now a few days are left right. Now important thing I am going to tell you here is that first of all you can't cover the syllabus in 10 or 12 days right or 14 days from now. Right? So you can't cover the syllabus in 10 12 days that's the import like like and of course I won't be suggesting you to start of the new chapters and then finish. A few of you, there are different categories of students, right? A few of you would have completed their syllabus and they would be, in fact, they would have revised also. A few of you would not have completed uh, even half of the syllabus, right? So first of all, <laughs> analyze yourself in which category do you lie, right? Now, I'm considering you had at least done the syllabus once, right? And um, at certain intervals you had revised also. Now, in these last few days, you what you have to do first thing that is the chapter wise revision chapter wise revision how to do the revision that i'm going to explain you right chapter wise revision because you had studied but what if you are not able to recall the formula or recall the concept in the exam then your study would be going vain right so this chapter wise recap is going to help you to uh, help you to just get what you had studied in the previous few months fine now how to do the recap very easy it is, very easy it is, very easy it is. First of all, you have to revise from your handwritten notes, from your handwritten notes, right? If you are a serious aspirant, you must have made the handwritten notes of your, yours, right? Fine. Now, in the handwritten, start revising from the first chapter, right? I will be helping you out in the routine also, right? Let us suppose you are revising from the first chapter, right? And now, take a pencil and start reading line by line as quick as you can suppose you uh, the you strike with a question a question strikes in the uh, notebook right so with the pencil try that you attempt there itself on the left hand side or the right hand side suppose here the answer is written and here some space is left right so what you do you write that be quick be quick while you are solving this okay 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 with timer with timer with timer with timer you have to do each and every question. It is not like that if you are practicing this question in the theory notes and you are taking uh, 20 minutes for a single question. No. With timer, if it is done within the time limit, one limit, uh, one minute, one, one minute, 20 seconds, one minute, 30 seconds maximum, right, then it's fine. Otherwise, switch to the next question. Switch, switch to the next story. This is how you have to revise. Fine. And keep a syllabus booklet with you. Handy. Right. Keep a syllabus booklet handy with you. As soon as you are done with the revision, right, suppose you are done with the dual nature of matter and radiation, right, tick that, right, so keep on ticking that and at the end of 10 days when you find a lot of being ticks are there, so this will give you some inner sort of uh, motivation. Now, of course, in the last 10 days, any motivation won't help you, right, you are done with what you had studied. Don't pick any new chapter, that is a small uh, thing to say, but yeah, that will be, uh, Game changer in the last 10 days. Whatever you had studied, or if you had studied 10 chapters of 14, revise those 10. If you had studied 7 chapters, revise those 7 first. If you had studied all 30, 14, 15, 16, whatever uh, the chapters of that particular subject, then revise all of them. Now, which chapter to start with, sir? Whether to start with the uh, whether to start with the laws of motion or whether to start with the dual nature of matter and radiation. Fine. Suppose, let us suppose either start with the grade 11 or 12th. Uh, of course, of course, it would be preferable that you start with the grade uh, 11 syllabus, right? So, start with the, start in a sequence, right? Try to follow the sequence. It should not be like that uh, you are watching, you are revising rotational motion force, then work energy power, right? Then motion in a straight line, then motion in a plane, right? So, don't break the sequence. Try that, you don't break the sequence. So certain chapters have certain sequence. You may start with the, you may start with the part two all as well. Let us suppose you started with the solids, right? After solids, you have to do the, so there are the blocks of chapter, fluids. And after fluids, you have to do thermal, right? I am considering that you had done the, all the chapters once first, right? So follow blocks, follow blocks. Okay. Thermodynamics, then KT, KTG, simple harmonic motion, uh, motion, and then waves, right? So follow the sequence, follow the sequence within the units. For example, in grade 12, right, uh, 
I will suggest you start with the easier one, right? Uh, the the block of the easier chapters, right? Because that will uh, then more number of ticks would be in this in your syllabus booklet, and that will help you out mentally a bit. Of, right? Suppose in grade twelve, uh, there is this unit of dual nature of matter and radiation, right? Atoms are nuclei and electronic devices. Correct, correct. Now this is this is the most uh, you can say easy part of the grade twelve. So if you are starting, start with dual nature of matter radiation. Don't say that you are starting with atoms and nuclei and then with electronic devices like that. Start in sequence. Start in sequence. Follow the sequence of the block. Dual nature of matter and radiation, atoms and nuclei, and finally electronic devices. Right? So make sure you 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 are you are strict to the block. So this is how you have to revise. Uh, start from the first chapter of that particular block, right? Now comes the second thing that you must do that is the previous year papers. If you haven't done. Now, I believe like most of you would have already done with the previous year PYQs, previous year questions or previous year paper. Now, right now also you have to attempt the previous year papers but again with timer. Again with timer, if you are having hard copy with your you, it start the timer before attempting them. Start the timer, again very important it is, right. And try to attempt the paper in which uh, you have actual slot uh, lined up, right. I mean slot 1 or slot 2, in whichever slot you are having the exam, try that you attempt the paper in that slot only, fine. Now, now. Here the thing is when we would be doing the paper, right, you had said too that we have to revise the chapters, right, and we have to do the previous year paper also. Once in, once in two days or maximum once in three days you do one paper, once in three days, at least with timer, once in three days at least do one paper, I know three hours would be gone, right, from the day, but you will get to know how to manage time in your exam, you will find that this much questions are left within this time limit, this part I am consuming more time, analyze, analyze after doing the test, analyze, take help of your seniors, of your teachers for analysis but do analyze after giving the test, once in three days or if better once in two days you give a test, right, previous year paper you have to pick, previous year, 2023 you can pick, right, 22 you can pick, do attempt the previous year papers, complete papers I am talking about, right. Uh, in the notes PYQs of course would be there, right, uh, yeah, whenever you would be studying the teacher must have made you write the PYQ, so PYQs would be done chapter wise when you are revising the notes, must it is, right, fine, or uh, yeah, that is the only thing you have to do. Now comes the last thing sir, you have told to uh, think, now tell us how to do it, routine, right. Now understand, right, those who have a habit of waking up uh, at 12 in the noon, that won't work out as of now, right, sleeping up, uh, sleeping early and that to waking up late, now, sleep on time, sleep on time and start, start waking up early, that's the only thing can help you out to make a routine right? and that is what I used to do at my time right? and of course clear the J means, fine, uh, now, now, now start waking up early. 6 in the morning or 7 in the morning or maximum 8 in the morning, start waking up early. Then only these things are of importance, otherwise of no use. Start early. 6, I won't set a deadline that you have to wake up at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. Try to wake up uh, 7 a.m. maximum by 8 a.m. Maximum, right? It's better if you wake up by 6. Start waking up early, right? Now, start with a subject that you like the most. Right. Start with the subject you like the most, right? Uh, let us suppose you are liking physics, my subject, right? Start with physics. Start with physics. Now, this revision will take time, right? For a particular chapter, this revision, because you are practicing questions also, no? You are practicing questions as well. Right? So, it may take for a particular chapter, it may take two and a half hours as well, uh, up to two and a half. On an average of, for example, uh, the chapter it is uh, uh, the topic that you are doing, it is uh, only friction if we are talking about. So, 2 hours, 2 to 2 and a half hours maximum, right, it will take to you to revise, right? only friction I am talking about, right, fine. So, uh, yeah, yeah, so you have to, it is not like you would be done in 10 minutes, right, so you can dedicate 2 hours, 
for the chapter wise revision for a particular chapter right then take a small break take a small break uh, after 2 hours you can take a 5 10 minutes 10 minutes break maximum with the timer take a break uh, just walk around your room right fight with your younger sibling and then come back switch to the next chapter switch to the next chapter follow the block follow the block dual nature of matter and radiation then then atoms and nuclear you may it is not strict again two hours, it may vary person to person depending upon their understanding. It may, uh, he or she might take 1.5 hours or he or she might take, uh, uh, he or she might take 3 hours. Right? It, it totally depends, it is subjective, right? It is subjective, depends upon the person. And, and of course, you have other subjects to do after this maths or chemistry you may pick. Chemistry you may pick. And finally, maths, right. Maths again will require more time as compared to physics or chemistry because there out you have to practice questions only. That is the only thing here uh, in maths, right. You don't have to read now, you have to practice it. Right? So, maths will be requiring time. Start early, that is the only thing that will help you out. And by the, uh, by evening at around 8 or so, right, by evening 8 or maximum 9, your things would be done. That I had told, the two things to do. And right? you would be done with your things maximum by evening and sleep early. Why to sleep early? Only then you would be able to wake up the next day, right? If you go late to the bed, you would be, you would arise late in the morning, correct? So, go on time and wake up early. That's the only catch here. Now, if you have any doubt, right, any doubt related to the means, you may type in the chat box, right, in the comment section, we would go through it and any particular topic video you need, uh, we will surely make it. So thank you very much for choosing PW Gulf.